and welcome along and welcome back to Feldsbrunn for our Seasons from Scratch series. Uh, so it is day two of summer um, and as with summer, as with uh, preparing everything uh, going forward, what we're doing today is we're going to quickly get everything sprayed. So we need to do the fertilizer on our fields while this is filling up. Let's just pop out here and have a look. So our three fields, field 31, field 26, and field 18, are all uh, have all been fertilised one stage. Uh, I think we might be able to spray them today a second stage of fertiliser. So I'm loading it up. Now, if this doesn't work, I do have a uh, contract lined up that we can do. So... Uh, Filling this up with fertilizer is not an issue. Uh, we're going to start with our field here. We're going to start with field uh, 31 uh, and give that a try and see if this does take. Still not quite identified whatever this crop is that we've got at the corner of the field here. I have no idea what that is. It looks a little bit like grass. It looks like we've got a strip of grass going into the field. I'm zoomed right in and of course we're over it at the moment. But if I do that... Uh, yeah, I think we need to be away from it. But to me, that looks like some grass uh, has crept into this field. Uh, so it may be a case that we have to plough this field back up later and uh, and do that again. Uh, but yeah, as I said, we need to get we need to try and get these fields uh, fertilised. So we'll give it a go. That looks like it might be changing underneath. Let's stop that here and have a look at that. So as far as fertilizing goes, no. Okay, so we have got to wait a while on that. That is fine, though, because if we look in here and look in our screen here, uh, we have a huge field that needs fertilizing. Field 12 here has a £10,000 contract on it. And if we look, we've got, we spent 3000 on fertilizer just now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one on, uh, accept that contract, uh, and go and get that done. So massive fertilizer contract today uh, that, that will bring us in a really nice amount of money. And if we don't use all this fertilizer on it, that will be fantastic because what we can then do uh, is going to grab another one. I know that field, I think it's field 12. Uh, sorry, field 6. Field 6 also needs fertilising. So it's it's that time of year in game when uh, the only stuff really to do around is fertilising and, uh, and weed killing. Uh, we are going to weed kill our fields, uh, but as I said, I kind of want at the moment to use this huge amount of fertiliser we just bought up. Uh, use, use that up uh, and then we're going to be in a position where we will be able to uh to refill this herbicide i know that we uh we don't we can empty these out but having just spent all this money i really do want to wow there's a big big patch of failed crop in the middle of uh of field 13 there there is a contract out there actually to do potatoes uh, and do potato planting but we are on day two of summer and it seems really really late to be doing a potato contract so, uh, yeah, I uh, I don't really want to be doing that. We are spraying potatoes here. So, uh, yeah, potatoes are coming along nicely. But, yeah, whoever plants potatoes at this time of year in uh, in Cain, the likelihood of those ever coming ripe enough in time is very slim. So, uh, uh But it is one of the things I like in Seasons, is that in Seasons there are no guarantees that... Uh, if you plant late, that your crop won't come to, uh, to uh, you know, fully be available to harvest. Um, it just, it's, it's more unlikely that you'll be able to harvest. So those bars that we get on the season screen. So if I set this at about 270, hopefully it'll stay on its course. There we go. So we'll set that on there. And I head over to the seasons menu. This here. Uh, you can still plant soybeans and corn at this point. So I wouldn't be uh, have a, an issue taking on uh, a mission for that. But potatoes, a potato planting mission, that's a bit odd at this time of year in game. It's, And I can show you the contact, contract here because it is, I mean, that is a big contract, 9,000 for field 24 to sow potatoes. So I can't see that that's uh, an, overly, um, an overly good thing for that farmer. 
So uh, my, the realism in me kind of says, no, you wouldn't be planting, um, you wouldn't be planting potatoes in June. Because that's essentially where, well, no, day two, it was six day seasons, late May. Would you plant potatoes in late May? I don't think you would. So uh, as a result, uh, yeah, I uh, while I consider taking on that contract, uh, I, I think we won't. Which kind of leaves us with spraying. Uh, now, this is a question I want to ask you guys. We've been doing a day a video on here. And what we've got at the moment is because we're in early summer, what we're having to do is we're having to do a lot of spraying. We've got our own spraying to do. We've got uh, we've got a lot of contract spraying we can do. We can earn quite a bit of money doing contract spraying, actually. But what that means is we're sort of, for the next four videos, are looking at doing contract spraying and spraying our own stuff. So what I want to know is, do you guys want me to skip ahead? Do you want me to skip forward a few days? Uh, and, uh, and what we'll do is we'll get to the harvest. Uh, once we've got our own stuff done, of course, I'll always do my own stuff on camera. But I think we're uh, we're at a point here where we're going to end up with this on the thumbnail a lot, uh, and with our uh, with, with doing a lot of contract spraying. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you want to skip ahead? Shall we skip to the harvest, uh, or shall we continue going through doing this uh, as we uh, as we have been, and uh, and therefore sort of working our way towards the autumn uh, and the late summer when we can actually get into the harvest and uh, and get doing that uh, and get it doing the harvesting jobs because we are going to be doing a lot of contract harvesting on here uh, we are going to harvest as many fields as we are able to earn some extra cash so uh, yeah let us know below what do you think we should do should we keep going uh, as is or should we skip forward a little bit we're just over halfway through this field now, and we still have over 18, uh, 1800 litres of, uh, of fertiliser, uh, which is really, really good news. What that means uh, is that with 65% uh, with left, uh, we're in a position where we're going to get all of this field sprayed with just what we have on the tanks on this tractor, which is really, really good, uh, really positive, uh, means that... Uh, we, we can, we're going to make a mint on here. We're going to make about £8,000 once we take into account uh, the fertiliser that we've used. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic uh, to make such a huge amount of money. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go and see how much we've got left in this. Uh, I think we'll see how much we use and then base field six. Uh, spraying field six on that amount and if we can get that done today and get these two uh, done and dusted that will be fantastic uh, I do need to go and obviously do our daily work with the, uh, with the chickens who are producing a nice amount of uh, eggs at the moment now once we've done that yeah we'll be uh, we'll be uh, sailing what I, what I also want to do is I want to get the herbicide sprayed on our own fields today uh, that means we're going to be able to spray our well, or do our own fields uh, next time with the uh, with the fertilizer and uh, and get those finished off so I think I think uh, you know as I said please let us know in the uh, in the comments if you want us to, to sort of skip ahead a couple of days. Uh, we can either keep earning money through contracts here, or we can skip ahead a couple of days uh, after the next video. And uh, and that way, what we'll be able to do is uh, is jump into the harvest at that point. Uh, and I'll show you some tricks and tips, especially if you've got the multi-mission mod on PC. But even if you haven't, uh, some tips and tricks that you can use with Seasons uh, to just sort of keep the cost down um, and the profit up when you come to the harvest. We're coming to the end of this contract now. This is the second to last row that needs doing on this field. Uh, so this means this is the last row uh, and normally the contract finishes uh, well before the end of the last row, especially on a field this sort of size. Uh, we still have 1300 liters of fertilizer in this. Uh, and and I'm, I find that amazing. That is incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top up what I think. I think it's our, yeah, it's our front tank. 
uh, if we look here. Yeah, our front tank is still pretty full of fertilizer. So what we'll do is we'll top up the front tank. Uh, and that then should be enough. That's just over half of the uh, thing. That should be enough to then go and spray at field six. Uh, which is immense, which is absolutely incredible to do that. Uh, and uh, and it'll bring it, that means we're going to make uh, about 15,000 at least on this today, which is uh, which is absolutely excellent. We've not quite, fit there we go, contract is finished, so we don't need to worry about the last little bit of this field. Um, but that's awesome. So we have uh, 1,200 litres left, 79% uh, of this tank. Uh, but just under half of, uh, of what we can have in total because we have 2,800 total uh, in these tanks. So what I'm going to do is, I, as I said, I'm going to load up. If we go in cab, you can see that our front tank there still has uh, quite a lot in it. Our rear tank is completely empty at this point. Um, so yeah, we'll fill the front tank up again with fertilizer. We'll go get field six done. Uh, and uh, and that is going to bring in a ton of money from this today, which is absolutely brilliant. And then, uh, yeah, we will have enough. We'll have easily enough to cover the herbicide cost for our three fields. Uh, we should also have enough from that to cover the, the fertilizer cost for our three fields as well, which will be uh, which will be excellent. Uh, now, while I'm driving back here, let's collect the money for this contract. So I'm going to set that back on the cruise control. And we will collect that, uh, which is brilliant. That's 10,228. Takes us up to 17,000. Absolutely brilliant. One of the things we do currently have on here is that our, our costs on the farm are low. I'm rather pleased with how we've kept our, our costs here low compared to how our Start From Scratch series has gone. Uh, the costs on that every day are absorbent, uh, where, uh, ab absorbent, whereas the costs on this, uh, we're not spending that much money each day, to be honest. Uh, so we'll fill that with liquid fertilizer. There we go. And we will pick up the other contract, which I think is about 9,000. Yeah, field six fertilizing. Uh, so for 9,000, so we'll accept that. Uh, and we'll head up there. But uh, yeah, I think our daily costs are fairly low, if I recall. Uh, I am just going to pop out and show you this. So our daily costs, uh, we lost 5,000 yesterday, but uh, that's because we spent 10,000 on new vehicles last time. Uh, but our contract's income was 6,000. Uh, loan interest is fairly minimal. We've borrowed uh, near to our maximum. Uh, and uh, the other costs are 4,000, which is basically our leasing. I oh, know there we are, leasing costs, 2,900. So we're spending 3,000 on leasing costs at the moment, which is not much at all. Uh, and, you know, we've already covered our leasing costs in what we've done today, which is, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head over to field six and we'll go, go and get that sprayed next. And, uh, and yeah, get some money off that and hopefully send us over 20,000. Now, this up here, this is where we built our farm last time uh, on the top of the hill here. I think this is a great place to build a farmyard. It works really, really well for that purpose. It's a nice, big, flat grass area between uh, two well-priced fields. Uh, well, well worth uh, checking out if you're looking to build your own farm on here. Right, we're going that way. And across here to field six. Uh, yeah, and you, you're surrounded by three good fields. I mean, what's the price of these fields? So field nine, so six, eight, and nine are some great fields. You're looking at 291, 331, although that takes you the other side of the railway track. Uh, and 800... So, yeah, you could, uh, it's quite a, a, you get a forestry area with field six for 800. That's really quite cool. Although I don't know how doable that forestry area is. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's a really cracking uh, set of areas to, to farm around here. Similarly, field six here has some space around it for you to build a farm. You could build a farmyard at the bottom of field six here and not lose that much money. Uh, you know, you could uh, you could do a, a farm manager game. 
start at the bottom of field six, lose a little bit of field, but still have a massive amount still available to you. Uh, and, uh, and do really well. In fact, you could do a start from scratch and borrow most of the money to buy this land and uh, and still do a uh, still do a really reasonable really good game on here that would be that would give you forestry as well so in seasons this would be a good field to start on thinking about it you would uh, you'd have woodland up there for uh, winter work uh, you've got a good area to build on down there for your yard and you start with actually quite a big field that you could plow and expand uh, to make up for a bit of area you, you could lose at the bottom end for a farmyard. So, uh, yeah, I actually quite like this field uh, and this area as a starting place. Uh, so that's the nice thing about the starting maps on Farming Simulator 19. Uh, they are so, so versatile. Uh, you, I look at all over the place on these and go, yeah, I could build a farm here, or I could build a farm here, or I could build a farm here. Because... There just is. There are just so many places that uh, are usable on these maps. So we got about 45% of our um, fertilizer left. We are 61% of the way through the contract. So it looks like we're going to have just enough fertilizer to do this contract, which is uh, which is actually uh, utterly fantastic. I'm really pleased that my calculations weren't that far off uh, and actually are in our favor, which is great news. Now, I would uh, I would really have worried had, uh, had that not been right. Uh, I'll have a look at the inside of this tractor because I really, really like the inside of this Mercedes uh, or this MV track. It's a beautiful uh, little model. This is available from the Mod Hub. Uh, I believe it's available from the Mod Hub. If not, it's on Mod Hoster, uh, and uh, and yeah, it got updated and has, uh, which is how we have the uh, care wheels on it. Which uh, I really love these care wheels as well. They are a beautiful looking, uh, a beautiful looking design. Remind me a lot of the uh, the wheels that used to get on the classic David Browns. Uh, there is, oh, that's the door. Uh, there is a way. I need to go outside for this. I need to line myself up, otherwise you get an overlap like that. Uh, it's got quite a lot of features on it, like um, the ability to uh, move the windows and uh, and close, open and close the windows and things like that. It's uh, it's a cracking little tractor for that. Uh, let's see if I can actually. There we go. Window up. Unfortunately, we've got course play on that. Oh, okay, it does both the windows at once. That. Uh, and that's on the right mouse button. Also does it on the joystick, uh, which is how I... One of the reasons I found out that I was having problems with my joystick uh, on my uh, side panel. I still need to fix that, of course, <laughs> which I haven't done yet. Um, and, uh, and yeah, opening doors, opening windows, I think. Uh, yeah, there we go. Opening doors. Uh, quite like that. The door handle moves as well while you do that. So lots of stuff that is uh, is just really nice little touches on this. 95% of the way through this job now. And uh, still got 7% left. Uh, so that is absolutely perfect. We are easily going to have enough uh, fertilizer to complete this job. Uh, makes me very, very happy uh, that it's not just a case of... Um, we're not going to be, you know, just a few litres short. Although, I am slightly concerned because this last row has a fair overlap. So, it's going to be close. It's going to be closer than I would like as a result. We're covering quite a large area. But, uh, yeah, this overlap does have me worried. We're not going through this as quickly as we were anymore. Oh, in fact, the contract has just finished. Oh, man. So, uh, <coughs> we're down to 38 litres. I think what we might do uh, is uh, is actually... I'm going to finish off spraying this on here. Um, it doesn't actually benefit us or benefit them. But uh, keeping the 31 litres in here... Uh, we don't want to... I don't really want to leave a 31 litre tank at the other end. So, we'll use the end of this up. And this would actually cover most of this field, I think. Uh, which is uh, is fantastic news. And there we go. We're out of it. 
So yeah, covered covered most of that field. That is very good news. Uh, we collect on this contract now, which is nine and a half thousand. Absolutely perfect. That is. Um, and there is just <coughs> that potato contract. Uh, really, that is uh, is worth the money now. It's half four in game, so I'm going to get this back to our farm, and I think what we'll do to round off today, or round off today's spray, uh, is uh, is we'll get some herbicide in this, uh, and we'll go and attack our own fields, and try and see how many of those we can get done uh, before we hit the sunset. Okay, so we're back at the yard. Let's get this filled up with the herbicide. Whoops, pressed the wrong button. There we go. So we want herbicide in our front tank and herbicide in our back tank. I, it's interesting that you could fill up the front with fertilizer and the rear with herbicide. I have no idea what effect that would have. Uh, and then unfold this. Now, we don't have a huge amount of weeds in our field. I mean, most of the other fields around have uh, massive amounts of weeds. We had a few patches, uh, and I just want to sort of be a little bit cautionary. I want to make sure that we get the most out of our fields. Uh, and I'm just not sure how, uh, how much weeds play a part in, uh, in this, in, um, in seasons. Whether it's actually weeds have gone so far the other way that it ends up being worth uh, not actually worrying about the weeds too much at all uh, in the fields in seasons. It's it's one of those things where because they're in patches, I don't know how much they drop the yield of those patches. Uh, as you can see, actually, in this first row, I'm not sure we've got any weeds at all that we're spraying. But the beauty of herbicide in the seasons as in the main game is it's preventative as well as um uh, as as active so what you end up with is the ability uh, is that we know we won't get any weeds at all in this field now uh which is really good news i've got to mark where i was which is about here-ish and turn in uh, and so what we'll what we'll find is not only will we get rid of the weeds that are currently in the field, of which we have a few big patches, uh, but we'll actually prevent any weeds at all from uh, from uh, infecting or infesting this field. So here is our first patch of weeds that seem fairly big on the map. You know, it doesn't look very big in reality, and they are dying off, uh, which is good. So those will disappear. Uh, one thing I did notice in the fields around me. Is, uh, is there are a lot of dead weeds actually in the harvest fields at the moment. And I'm guessing that is uh, sort of a late spray uh, before harvest came along uh, in order to just kill off any weeds that were hanging about in the field. But it's rather interesting uh, to see that and see the effect it has. Uh, right, so that is... Now, one of the issues I have had with building my farm here is that, uh, yeah... The turning on this bit, on these returns here, has become a little tight. That's okay. I want to leave myself enough for the return. Uh, so that's why I kept spraying there. We'll never get any weeds around our farmyard, I don't think, if I keep spraying like that. Uh, and it's a little bit of a waste of spray. Maybe it's uh, maybe I should actually do the headlands uh, rather than um, <laughs> rather than doing that uh, doing it that way. That would be a little bit more realistic. It's a lot of waste of spray. Uh, doing it the way I'm doing it at the moment. Here we into the last row. It destroying our last big patch of weeds here, and uh, and this field is now looking a lot more healthy. Uh, you can see the sun is beginning to get a bit low in the sky, but that's okay. We're it's where's it going down? Oh, it's, it's still quite high. Sun doesn't set in seasons uh, in summer until gone nine in the evening probably gone ten uh because it's a it, it's a british setup for seasons so uh yeah it's it's ten uh, ten o'clock in the evening before uh you really lose the sunlight which is really useful when you're trying to do a lot of harvesting um and uh, and don't want to record uh in the darkness 
And of course, in real life, it helps because uh, you don't get the dew falling really until very late either. Right, so we're 83%. As we've learned previously, we're going to be okay to get all of our stuff done. We want to return that uh, water trailer at some point, I think. I'm beginning to look at where we can build, uh, where we might be able to build a uh, somewhere for the cattle. And going, going on what I was saying earlier, uh, I think there are a few places. I mean, there is the standard uh, starting location, which of course is a nice flat area. Uh, we could turn the field at the far end of that into grass and give us a nice area of grassland there. The alternative, of course, is something like in the side of field nine, which we were talking about before. Uh, that would be quite a good place for us to uh, to do, although um, grassing over field nine, I'm not too sure about that. Field 30 would be a good one for us to buy uh, for grass, because it is a big grass field. Uh, I don't exactly know, though, how I would, uh, how I would handle that uh, as far as grass goes. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there is that. Uh, but we need to now spray field 18. Uh, this is a this is a properly big spraying video. Checking on my uh, I've checked on my uh, um, chickens uh, and uh, and yeah they should be okay today. Uh, I think we're going to have to do some work with them next time. But we're going to be uh, we can do that while setting this on a uh, hired worker doing the fertilising next time I think, uh, and then uh, and getting these fields done and dusted. Uh, but yeah, let's get this field sprayed uh, and then we'll head over and get 26 done and hopefully we'll have enough daylight left just to get these finished. Just finishing off field 18 now. This is the last strip we need to do. And, uh, and one thing I have noticed as I'm doing it is we could actually have got the weeder on here. Uh, the weeds in the field are small enough that the weeder would have pulled them out. Uh, and of course, the uh, soy soybeans have not grown far enough yet, uh, in order to uh, in order for not to not be able to use the weeder on this field. Uh, but the thing is, the weeder would have cost me money. Uh, we we would have uh, we'd have had to have rented it at the very least. Uh, and on top of that, of course, we've uh, we'd already spent the money on the uh, on the herbicides too. So, yeah. Uh, I think looking back, maybe I would have, uh, had I realised earlier, maybe I would have grabbed the weeder just for a little bit of variety. But uh, as it is, uh, we've now sprayed it with herbicide. We've got the same thing with the soybeans over on field 26. Ah, uh, yeah, 26. Um, we, we need to get those uh, done as well. Uh, and we could have also done those with the weeder too. Uh, but as it is, we still have 61% of our, uh, our herbicide left. Uh, we have not uh, yeah, used anywhere near this. And it's quite good that these two tanks uh, cover all of our farm. I'm really, really quite pleased with that. So let's make things easy on ourselves and go straight opposite that. And straight up there. So minimal time on the road. And again, I don't know how bad the weeds are on this field actually. Uh, the weeds on field 26 are non-existent. We don't actually have any weeds on field 26 at the moment. So uh, this is more of a preventative measure uh, than it is uh, an actual uh, use for it. Uh, and we may get no weeds at all, actually, in these soybeans. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's let's hold off on this. Let's hold off on spraying this until we actually get some weeds in it. Uh, I'm not one for... Preventative is all good, but uh, I don't want to... I don't want to go and spend that money unless I actually have to. 61%, uh, yeah, we will leave that as is. So let's get this back to our farm, uh, which I, I think is going to be a pretty good place for us to finish today. Uh, it is half past eight in game. Yeah, absolutely perfect place for us to finish. So as I return to the farm, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.